Peace and blessings, everybody. So, um, I'm listening to this um, this 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 talk or whatever they have on the Breakfast Club about Ti and his him getting his daughter Hyman checked. Um, and I believe she's 18 right now. They've been doing it for a while, and I want to say I guess I don't know when they started, but they've been doing it for a while. And so, uh, or at least when he last went, or when he had talked about, I know she was like 16 or something. And so, you know, it was like a question pose on the Breakfast Club asking like, you know, is he wrong? Is he being overprotective or is he not or whatever and so on. Uh, of course, men and women see it differently, you know. Uh, it's funny that the female, what's her name, uh, Angeline, she sees it like, I mean, and, and when you, um, if y'all, I want y'all to go and listen to this because I, I wasn't able to, I just, I'm kind of doing this random, so I didn't, I didn't go and search for the clip so I could add it to this. So you can hear about the, the the titles on the beginning. So just go and um, look at and listen to the video. And I want you just to really listen to it with an analytical eye. And just study everybody. Study the tone. Study the energy that, that's being exuded. And, and just listen to what's being said. And I'm going to tell you, one thing that I got from Angela, Angela Yee specifically is that it seems that her position has always been when it's about women and kind of like women's right to wear whatever this that and other she just wants women to be able to do whatever you know what i'm saying no matter really almost how because her position is that a woman should be able to do what she wants with her body okay in a sense technically speaking yeah true you can whatever what you want to do with your body however the way the 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 universe is created is that there's always a cause and effect and now you have to keep in mind ladies that it's not just about life isn't just about day-to-day -day activity there's a bigger scheme to why you've been created a bigger scheme to why you exist you have a bigger role outside of just establishing yourself in this world and chasing a bag and, and, and raising kids and getting a husband your life is about way more than that and it is only when we really dig deeper into really trying to like pinpoint what that is and why that is that you know life be kind of gets a little bit more clearer to us it begins to have more sense and more consistency you know what i'm saying now while i don't necessarily believe in living inside of a box however i believe that you should develop yourself to a certain uh in a certain way that that you know like when an animal's trained there's a certain level of development where you really have to train something. I mean, you have to kind of put it inside of a box. And then there's a time where you have to release it so that it can exercise and utilize all the tools that it's been given and, 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 cult and cultivated with, right? At that point, they have to be, the, the, the training is the experience. They have to, they have to be held accountable. They have to like, it's like they have to, um, you know, like go through the experiences and, and just hold themselves accountable. They, it's, it's like whatever happens as a result of stuff that you do, I mean, you have to claim that. And here's the thing. If we're going to go through life blaming the world for what happens, then we have to also be grown enough, responsible enough to take full responsibility also to us. You know what I'm saying? For what we do, how we, you know, go out and, 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 and urge certain things you know so my thing um, overall this is what I want, want, want to be really like grasped by this here is that ladies women I mean it's all over the reports the news social media all that that you are being abducted at a higher level than any man you I mean like just think about it you who you are your whole element your whole creation everything about you is very valuable you or the prayer of the world. Women want you, men want you. And the thing about it, it is, it is you are the ones who are being sex trafficking. You are the one who are be, who are, who are made who are kidnapped and, and put like you know little kids on being sex trafficking. You are the one who who are being you know raped and and even when you think about serial killers when they kill, typically it's women that they go after. Why? Because women are more vulnerable. Women uh, are, are more physically vulnerable women are more psychologically vulnerable because women really be so engaged in their like in life and just living that they don't live like 
from a position of being guarded. You know what I'm saying? And for her to live in a position of being guarded all the time, it, like, it takes from her true essence. So it is men's responsibility to guard you. And a part of being able to protect you, um, you know, it, 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 it involves the man having some kind of say so. Now, for a father, I don't believe it's nobody's right to, I mean, if a father's being a father, he's protecting his daughter, he's not like abusing his daughter, he's not, you know what I'm saying? He's not being like abusive. If he's not being emotionally, mentally abusive, then it's like, who are we to say, you know, what a father shouldn't be doing with his kid? Cause like, 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 uh, Shalomir the God say on here, in one sense, you know, black men are criticized for not being involved enough in a kid's life. And then in another sense, you know, he, he being criticized for so-called being overly involved. You know, and so I don't necessarily see anything wrong with it. And, and, and us being want to be friends with our kids. You know, now I'm making it about general about kids because, I mean, that's what it can fit to. Us want to be general, us want to be friends with our kids. You know, not not going behind them, not checking their phones, not checking what kind of apps they got on, right? You know, because women are being all, uh, also abducted through social media, online, meeting people online and stuff like that. So this is that, that era and that time. So you have to be on top of all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because women, really because of the people that are after you, the kind of harm that you can face in this world, you don't have a lot of opportunity to make a lot of mistakes to learn. Boys do, and a lot of times you have to let boys go a little earlier because it is the experience in boys being abreast to all of the different things in this world that 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 that, that, that like um, certifies him in a sense to be a good provider and protector. You know, you can't shelter a boy too much because if you shelter a boy too much, he not he gonna be just as uh, passive and docile as, as as the nature of a woman. So he has to go out and have his masculinity. Uh, challenge so that it can be cultivated in the right way. You know, he has to have experience. So, women were like, you, you really be like always saying what you want to compare yourself to males and like what he does and why you don't do him like that. You do me like this. You know, you know, you, you're not equal to men. You know, and, and, and that's why it's a problem because it's like for some, somebody has programmed this, this idea that you should, you should want to be equal to men. I mean, you are spiritually, you are spiritually, you are. Um, um, intellectual uh, pro is, I think that's the right term. You know, you are. You know, I mean, and even more so sometimes. Sometimes you're more intellectual, but your intellect is hindered a lot of time by your emotional component. So, I mean, it's just, you, you just, that men have a strength, a unique strength as well as women have a unique strength. And it just, the two has to be respected. It, it's not to be like, a man shouldn't be trying to be like a woman, a woman shouldn't be trying to be like a man. That's my point. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Get back at me, peace.